Praise God. Karibu sana to our service this evening. I hope wherever you are, you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. So, welcome to 2024, the year of threshing the mountains. My name is Kale Birongo, and I'm so pleased to stand here before you and share the word of God. So, first of all, is to thank the bishop, Pastor Alice, and all the pastors for this opportunity. And then second, is to thank the media team, so it is a great honor to be here, to stand in your presence, to share the word of God. So let's go straight to the word of God. We will be speaking a little bit about belonging. So belonging is something that as human beings, we all, we all need to belong somewhere. We all have that feeling that we need to belong somewhere, either in a group or in a cell everywhere, somewhere that... We, we feel that we have to belong in some way. It is a sense, a sense that we have as human beings. So we desire to know people and we desire to be known as human beings. There's that need of being known, to, be, to, know, to know people and to be known, to love people and to be loved. It is something that we all have as human beings, which is something that is very important. So I would say that belonging and through my research, belonging is something, it is a feeling, a feeling of joy, it is a feeling of happiness, uh, it is that feeling of being comfortable in a certain group. Let's say, for example, uh, I happen to serve in the, in the youth department and also in the Sunday school department. So, for example, in our Sunday school, there's that feeling of belonging because, let's say, in a meeting, when you come in for a meeting, a Sunday school meeting, or the youth department meeting, it is something you, you feel like you belong somewhere, you feel like you belong or you are loved by the team that you're serving with, or the, there's that joy of serving in this team. So that is what belonging is. There's that joy of feeling that you are represented, or you are representing God somewhere through your service. So it is having also, belonging is the that place that you have a good relationship with the people that you are serving with. Let's say, for example, as I had said a little bit earlier, in, in like Axis or in the, in, in the youth department, it is that feeling that you have a good relationship with other people, a good relationship with the people that you are serving with, a good relationship with the members of that team. So let's say, for example, even in Sunday school, there are kids that you, you will teach let's say in a class. So if you belong in that class, if you have that sense of belonging in that class, there's that part where you will also be loved by the people that you teach. You will also be loved by the people that you are working with because it is important. As we had said that love, belonging is that feeling of being loved and loving others. You are being loved and also sharing that love. So if you belong somewhere, you will love that thing. If you belong somewhere, you will have a love for that thing. So let's say, for example, in, in, uh, in our services at Shiloh, I happen to, to, to be at Shiloh at most of the time. So there is that feeling that you have when you come out of the service and you see people that are standing in groups, people are talking to each other. There's that feeling that you have. If you're not in a group of, or if you're not, if you happen to not be in a group or you happen to not be somewhere that people are, there's that feeling, kuna venyuta, feel too different because you, you think that you do not belong. But if you have somewhere that you can stand with a certain number of people or a certain group of people that you can be able to share your feelings with, you can be able to share how your week has been and everything because let's say they are your friends, you, you can share with them. It is something that is very important. It is something that is very fun. And then, we, as we had said, so belonging is a basic human need. Everyone, every one of us feels very important or, or feels very happy when they belong to when they belong somewhere and we belong uh, we belong in very many places which we will look at a little bit later so everyone will say uh, everyone will say that they belong somewhere or they know someone because there is that feeling of being known being known is something that is very important to us as human beings we would want to be known by great people or other people we want to be known by people that are important and also others. So it is something that is implanted in our brains. It is something that we have in our hearts. It is deep in our hearts because belonging is something that is 
quite very important to us. So it is a feeling of joy. So as we come to Christ, there is that sense of belonging. There is that part of belonging because Christ accepts us as we are. God accepts us as we are. And that is why he gave his son, Jesus Christ, Nandomana, to celebrate Christmas and everything. So it is something that is very important. So it is something that we should come to God. And because God accepts us as we are, and we come to him and we belong to him, there are some certain things that we have to do. There are some certain things that we will have to change, and we will look into that. So our main text comes from the book of First Corinthians, chapter 12, from verse 12 to 27. First Corinthians, chapter 12, from verse 12 to 27, and I will read. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body being many are one. Being many, they are still one. They are still one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I am not the body, is therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But now, indeed, there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I, ha I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. No much, rather, tho rather, those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, on this we bestow greater honor, and our unpresentable parts have greater modesty. But our presentable parts have no need, but God composed the body, having given greater honor to that part which lacks it. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. Thank you so much. So this verse talks about the body being knit together, how a body should be. It is knit together. And let's use this example in our, in our, in, in our midst, in our services. So as a body of Christ, we should be knit together. We should be one thing because we all have different, different, we all blessed differently. We all have different skills and different talents. And when we bring all this together, it becomes one body because there are some things that I cannot do and my friend can do. There are things that I cannot do and you can do. There are things that I'm not gifted in, but you are gifted in. So, if I sit here and try to do everything on my own, it is something that will be impossible. If the bishop or the pastor say that they will be the only ones that will be preaching, kuna time in itaku and want to thank them for this opportunity. It is something that is very great. We are grateful. So, going back to our service. So, it is something that is very important. We have to, we have to learn that there are things that we cannot do. We are not in a competition uh, to compete, Nam Toyota. As we have read, there are things that kuna kitwenye macho yangu itaona, siyeziona na maskio. There are things that I can do and someone else cannot do. So, it is very important for me as a person in the body of Christ to know that I cannot compete with my brother. I cannot compete with someone else. We are not in a competition. We are here to work together to bring the gospel of Christ. We are here to work together and to reach out to members of the church, to reach out to people that we will find in our communities, people that we will find in our workplaces. We are here to reach out to them and share the word of God with them. And we will do this as a team, not me myself, not see si Mimi Pekeangus, see our pastors alone. They cannot do this on their own. We will do this as a team. So there's this song that, that, that says because 
imeimbo na kiku. So there's that song that says that I cannot be you. Mimi siwezi kuwa wewe na wewe uwezi kuwa mimi because I have my own skills, I have my own talents and you have your own talents. So if you have all these things, we come together as a body of Christ. We come together as one church and because my successes, our successes as a church, we will share them together. So if we start backbiting. Tukianza kuteta huku mara, this is not going right, this is not going right. It is upon us to make these things go right. It is upon us as a service. It is upon us as members of the church to try and bring these things together and try to see how they will work. Try to see how these things will come together, how they will fit in together to become one thing that is honorable to God as a service. So, we are our own selves and we should never try to be like others. This is very important that we should not try to compete with others. See, this mama up and Jaribu could preach, come a bishop, I'm Jaribu could preach, come a pastor Moashi. It is something that is very impossible because the air kona skills Zak and Akuna Benye at a preach. And there's also some somewhere that I will speak which is different to them. So it is something that is very important to know yourself. So as a Christian, it is first very important to know yourself, to know your skills, to know the things that God has blessed you with. And this we will, you will only know when you have a relationship with Christ. You will only know these things when you grow deeper in Christ, when you desire to have that fellowship with him. You will, these things will be revealed to you so that you will know this is where I should be serving. So in our church, we, we also have that that gift. We can serve in any place that we are. There's no one that will force you. It is upon you to listen to Christ, to listen to God. Where should I serve? How could I serve in this church? Which ministry should I belong to? And there's that open thing that you will come and be accepted in this ministry, and you will belong in that ministry. And belonging to that ministry means that there is something that you are adding into that place. There is something that your presence is adding something different in that place. And that is why we are different. And it is very important to know that we are different from others. We are not the same. We can never be the same. And there is nothing that we will ever do, because we are also gifted in very different ways. So. I cannot be like you, and you cannot be like me. This is something that we have said, and it is very important. So the other thing, we will be looking at the places that we belong, as certain places that we belong. And the first one is, uh, is that we belong to God. This is something that is very important, because God created us. It is he who created us, and it is him who knows everything that is in us. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our strengths. He knows everywhere that we go. He knows everything about us because he is the one that created us. And because he loves us, he gave us all these things to come to him and to serve him. He gave us all these gifts that we should bring back to him as a sacrifice. We should bring our gifts back to God as a sacrifice. And because God created us, he has a purpose for us. There's at no point, uh, at no point should we sit and think that mimi nilichukuliwa, nikatengenezwa, nikaeko kwa place enye niko, nikaeko labda in my family or in this church or wherever it is that I am by mistake. Because God has a purpose for each and every one of us. And this will be, will, we will keep hearing this time and time again because it is something that is very important in our lives as Christians to know that God has a purpose for you, to know that God has a purpose for each and every human being, for each and every person God has a purpose because he created us with a purpose in mind and not by mistake. There is something that he needs you to do. There is something that you are created to do. You are not just someone that was placed there just to sit there, it is something that we have to learn, that we have a purpose that we are serving as Christians. And then he accepts us as we are and calls us to himself. Even though we keep sinning, even though we keep falling short of his glory, he still accepts us and at Twitter and to receive as we are. We come to him as we are. And that is why God accepts us as we are. Because first of all, he created us and then he calls us to himself. And we come as we are, with all your weaknesses, with everything that you have done, you come to him as you are. And then the other thing is to learn that go, going to God is then an option. It is an option that we make. Coming to Christ is an option. It is an option that we have to make, and it is a personal option. Accepting Christ as your personal savior. And then 
haishi hapo and when you have made that decision to come to Christ there is another decision that we have to make staying in Christ it is a de decision that we have to make it is a personal decision and no one will make that decision for you so staying in Christ means that there are some things that we have to lose there are some things that we will have to change about ourselves there are some things we will have to change about our characters there are some things we will have to change in our personal lives so staying in God means that we will have to do away with some characters do away with some people in our lives do away with some things in our lives things that we have we had made important in our lives things that we thought are more important than others there are things we have to lose in our lives so chani wape story kidogo nasikupewa ruhusa ya kupeana story but nitawapea so there's there's someone kuna mtu alikuwa na work in a certain shop so akiwa job uh, an evening someone came ilikuwa asubuhi si evening so asubuhi umefungua job uko hapo you are very busy someone comes anakuja amechoka unaona mtu amechoka amebeba bags ni kama ametoka safari so they are coming from a distance alafu it's a girl so they are coming from wanaka amechoka na kila kitu so they come anakuja kwa shop and then she finds someone at the shop anamwambia eh, nimetoka meru ama nimetoka mahali mbali nimechangiwa zin so they are working so anasema amekuwa transferred to another place that they should go to work so ametoka mbali amekuja na mizigo zake so ako na nguo na vitu kama hizo so this person asks if you have been transferred from the place that you are working to come and work in a certain place siku na hiyo period yenye unapeangwa tuseme kama ni two weeks ama a month to to get yourself ready jupia uko na vitu zako tuseme there's a place that you are living you have to pack your things so that you bring them to this place that you are moving to so mtu anasema ako na story anamwambia that it was some someone else was eh, ilikuwa ni mtu mwingine there was someone else that was given that job alikuwa anafaa toke ndo sasa akuja lakini yeye alikataa wakasema ni mimi nafaa kukuja so venye alisema hivyo akamuelezea akamuelezea story yote akamwambia mimi nimekuwa transferred kutoka Meru nimeambiwa nikuje Gedhorai nikuje nikuwe nafanya kazi kwa a certain hospital sijui kama ni St John ama ni St Paul something something of that sort iko hapo hapo 44 so huyu mtu amekuja na bag zake na kila kitu ameweka hapo so ako stranded because hajui atalala wapi jioni that is the first thing hajui atakula nini hajui Kenya atafanya but the thing that she says is that ako na do niko na pesa mali tu nataka nataka tu place ya kulala leo and then tomorrow ama according uh, after some days nita organize how my things will come from that place sikuje zikae huku ndio pia nitafute a house to live in or a house to rent so that i can start my job at this place so mtu akamhurumia she had mercy on her kachukua vitu zake akamwekea so after some time amekuja ametafuta place ya kuishi so because hajuani na watu in this area this person the person that is now working in the shop will have to reach out to to some friends ama one person or two so it happens that someone a lady in that place alikuwa anatafuta mtu wa kukana eh wa share rent so akam akam connect so they connected wakapatana na huyu mwingine wakakuja wakakaa pamoja so after some days the lady that alikuja kukana huyu mtu mwenye alikuja akachukua vitu zake akaenda kukana huyo mwenye alifukuzwa sasa mwenye alikuwa ame transferiwa job comes and starts complaining anasema hasaidi kwa nyumba hafanyi hivi ama karakta yake si mzuri as in ni kama story yenye alikuwa anapeana ni ya uongo there are some things that are not adding up so after after a while inabidi achukue vitu zake tena amfukuze because there are things that you cannot tolerate when you are living with someone say for example kwenu mmezoea ama kwetu tumezoea jioni tunataka tuko na tuko na time table ya venye tunapikanga leo tunapika ugali kesho ya cooking rice the other day we have to, to cook this and then if i come and host you if i host you as my friend or as someone that i don't know i don't expect you to come to my house and start saying that we should change this we should change the other thing and there is nothing that you are doing about it so after some time umtu akachukuliwa vitu zake zikae kwa nje akaambiwa 
siko ubaya lakini you will have to find some place to live and after some time do inakuja inajulikana that it was all a lie hiyo story yote ya kufukuzwa ya kutransfer and the the meaning of this story jimenda sana it means that we are we are we are kind of the same people we are kind we have the same character with this person we are people that lie we are human beings and there's some point that comes because we 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 take god for granted when yame tukubali amesema wewe umefukuzwa mali ulikuwa yes come tutaishi pamoja na ukikuja kwa nyumba ya god when you come to god unakuja na na rules zako unakuja na vitu zako zenye unataka the things that you want so you come and write a list of the things that you want from god unamwambia god this is the first thing that i want this is the other thing that i want this is the other thing that i want na ukikosa kutimiza hizi siko comfortable i'm not comfortable in this relationship which is something that is very wrong because first of all as we had said god has a purpose for you and everything that he does he does for a reason for you specifically so when you come to christ it is something ukikuja unakuja venye uko and you will have to change some things unakuja venye uko ukifika venye uko unaachilia na venye uko and you take the things of christ venye wewe uko unaiacha uko you take up the things of christ you take up the cross of christ and try to be like him work your best to be like him so it is something that we will have we will have to work on first our will must be broken our will must be broken so that we take on the will of christ we take on the will of christ the things that christ wants for us it is something that we have to put put down ourselves to wake vitu zetu zote chini and then take up the will of christ and seek to please him him and him alone he is the first person that we should please with every decision that we make everything that we do it is him that we should please not any person sometimes we seek to please we seek to please uh, people that are around us we seek to please our parents we seek to please our pastors our bishop we seek to please people which is not something that is see wrong but first we should seek to please christ he is the first person that we should seek to please to please god to do what he says kama hajasema hivi whatever people will say whatever people that are around you will say should not matter if god does not if god has not said it then it should not matter to you if god does not conform if does if god does not ask you to do this thing it should not matter to you no matter the person that tells you to do these things because first of all we should listen to god and then listen to others he, sh- he is the one that we should run to each and every single day asubuhi jioni kila saa kila time he is the first person that we should be seeking to please to chase after to bring everything that we have to bring it to him akikubali ni sawa akikata ni sawa you have no opinion you have no you have no option una sijui i will do this ama i will do this no he is the first person that we should please and then as as our pastor pastor mwashi venya anatuambianga pale shilo mnafaa kukuja services zetu very important so anatuambianga that when you are when you are adopted into a family you come into that family and you do the things that you find them doing kama kwa hii family wamesema kwa hii nyumba yangu tunaingianga saa mbili wewe shida yako kama una you have to try to put your schedule ingiane na hii mali umekuja kuwa adopted so also in the family of christ when we are adopted into the family of christ it means that there are some things that we should we, should, we have to to strip ourselves of to easy vitu zote uachane nazo so that you come into the family of christ and you accept the things that he says the things that he says in his word are the things that we have to accept and learn to live with we should learn to live with these things and then because it is him who has these things it is him who has planned out our lives he has our uh, our lives planned out we are told that he sees where that we cannot see anaona mbali sisi tunaona hadi pale tunaona hadi mahali pale juu kuna ukuta so tunaona it is something that we see hadi pale and then he has our whole our whole lives planned out because he loves us and he has a purpose for us and then the second place that we will be looking at we belong to a family of believers like now a church we belong to a family of believers so and in this family we all know that in a family there are sometimes that 
tutakosana there are disagreements in a family lazima zitakuwa and how do we handle these things because also in the church lazima tuta disagree at a point or uh, at some point or some other point lazima an opinion labda uko na a different opinion from others how do we handle these things when we when we come because we belong to this family and you cannot si eti juu tumekosana ama kama leo tuseme for example leo niko sana na my brother ama niko sana na mzazi wangu sitapaka vitu zangu niseme nimetoka ama nimeenda kabisa sita irudi hapa because ninaenda wapi first of all ninaenda wanaenda kufanya nini naenda wapi because these are people that god has placed you in god has placed you in this church god has placed you wherever you are for a purpose and there is a reason for that kuna reason yenyewe uko hapa kwa hii church kuna reason unasema i am a member of deliverance church international kasarani zimaman there is a reason for that and it is very important to know that first of all we should check our contacts as christians we should check our conduct labda ni wewe unatumanga watu wanakosana ama ni unatumanga things do not go right so first of all is to check our conduct and we look look in the book of romans chapter 14 and verse 13 which says therefore let us not judge one another any more but rather resolve this not to put a stumbling block or or a cause to fall in our brother's way hold it there so in a sense that therefore let us not judge one another anymore here imaanishi that tuachilie watu wafanye venye wanataka no it does not mean that but judging one another it means that i should come to you pastor ali sana tuambianga that when you ukipatana na brother yako akiwa kwa makosa learn to understand before you judge learn to try and understand why these things is happening learn to understand why he is doing these things that he is doing before you start judging them am muanze ku kumwambia ufanye vizuri ama the other thing so it tells us that we should not cause another brother to fall let us focus on the last part of that verse that we should not cause a brother to fall it says that you should not put a stumbling not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way so as christians we should seek to to be people that bring people to christ as in we should be the people that cause others to love christ even more because we are examples we are examples in this family so in a family we will have those disagreements and how do we deal with these things we will find this in the book of matthew chapter 18 from verse 15 to 17 which says that there are you say more moreover if your brother sins against you go and tell him his fault between you and who and you and him alone so the first step kama mtu amenikosea na tunakosananga sana kwa kanisa lazima kutakuwa na a place where nasikia nimekosewa so you come to him wewe na yeye mwenyewe you come and talk things out if that does not if he if he hears you you have gained your brother the other verse but if he will not hear take with you one or two more you take a brother or a sister you you take witnesses that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established so that is the second point unachukua watu wawili and then you go and then the last one it says that if he refuses to if he refuses to hear them tell it to the church but if he refuses even to hear the church let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector So many times when we find that these things happen there is a process of coming together unakuja unamwambia by the way i feel like you wronged me in this way i feel like ulinifanyia vibaya in this way that is the first step and then the other thing is to come to him akikataa kukusikiza unakuja na witnesses and you come with your two two witnesses unakuja unamwambia by the way there is this thing there is this issue that arises because you can come with those witnesses then a story change kweni wewe hata ulikuwa umekosea wewe labda ulikuwa unaona huyu amenikosea lakini labda ni uli mkosea so it is important to come with other people umwambie this is what happened waskize story yako the your side of the story and also the side of that person's story and then after that wakiona enyewe ni huyu ako kwa makosa na amekataa kusikiza take it to the church take it to the pastors take it to the bishop kuje umwambie this is what happened mueleze vizuri and then after that if akikata there's that thing that we have been told so 
First of all, we have said that as a Christian in a family of believers, the first thing that is very important is to check our conduct. Check your conduct. Isikuwe ni wewe unatuma people people that belong in the family of Christ wakuwe wana sin ama wakuwe wana fall back. Msema kama hiyo ndio uokovu mimi sitaki. Kama hiyo ndio kuokoka wacha ikae. Check your conduct as a believer. Check your conduct and then the other thing when disagreements come there are ways that they are to be dealt with. Seek these things zieke kwa akili and then try and solve these issues. And then the other thing is to be united. As believers we have to be united and this is in the book of Psalms chapter 133 from verse 1 to 3 that says behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity it is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments it is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion for there the Lord commands the blessing for life forevermore so where there is unity god commands a blessing and then this is something that is very important because wherever there is unity people work together wherever there is unity people think their thoughts are are, are 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 alike so it is something that is very important to be united as a team to be united also in the departments that we serve in it is something that is very important to be united you 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 can all speak the same language see at tumepatana leo kwa meeting mimi nimesema hivi mwingine amesema hivi and then when we come out of the meeting ule anasema hivi ama ule anaongea another language ule anasema it is something that is very important first of all be united seek unity because that is where god commands a blessing and then the other thing which is very important also is to clothe ourselves with love in the that is we will find in the book of colossians chapter 3 verse 14 which says that but above all these things put on love which is the bond of perfection put on love which is the bond of perfection so as believers love is something that is very important we are told that love is the greatest commandment so it is something that is very very important we should put on love when we come to church we should put on love when we are out of church we should put on love when we meet other members uko nje you should put on love see mimi na kokanga sande peke yake huko kwingine tukipatana katikati hata usiniongeleshe usiniite so cha nipeane example lingine ya Sunday school so uwezikuwa mwalimu wa Sunday school sande peke yake because let's say for example unaishi hapa Zima cha nitumie example ya ya pasta Lili so Lili anaishi mahali hapa Zima man na ni mwalimu wa Sunday school so on Monday ama along the holidays ukitoka nje utapatana na children that you teach on that you teach on sunday wakikuja kukimbilia nasema chat chat cha sasa tutasimama mwambie ah ah msikuje leo leo niko off leo siko kazi leo miss it cha ama ukiwa na your friends when the when these children come to you how do you react how how what is your reaction sasa utakataa wakusalimia au utakataa kuongea nao because wewe unafundishanga sunday peke yake it is not like that it is something that you should seek it is something that is implanted in you because this is where god wants you to be so you are a teacher hata wale wenye wakujangi church also in 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 your areas wale wenye wakuji church it is upon you you are their teacher it is upon you to cover them it is upon you to walk with them to seek to bring them to christ which is something that is also very important we will be looking at so we are being told about love Love is something that is very important. We we'll look at the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 from verse 8 to 10. It says and above all things have fervent love for one another. Have fervent love for one another. This is earnest love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So, there are things that we are told that we should have an honest love, have an honest love, a fervent love for one another. Have love, true love. Sisi tunapenda mtu juu ya vitu zenye anakupatia anga but because of how they look, you are loving your brother because they are your brother in Christ. So you have honest love for them and then you are hospitable you are hospitable 
to one another without grumbling. How teti, how shindu kipiga kelele, seme oh, I did this the other time, I did this the other time, kwa ni mimi peke yangu na savingi kwa hii ministry, kwa ni mimi, uh, it is not like that. Si kuteta, be hospitable, be someone that is hospitable. Someone that, ukismama, people can come to you, people, watu wa wakuogopi, watu, our, and I love this about our pastors, about our bishop. There are people that you can, you can come to. There are people that are very friendly. That you can come and talk to them. You can come and speak to them openly. And because they are hospitable. And then the other thing is to use your gifts to serve one another. Use your gifts to serve one another. Chukwa gifts zako zilete. As you had said as we were starting, that we have different gifts. We are blessed with different gifts. You should use these gifts to serve one another, to serve your brother, to serve your sister, to serve the members of your church, to serve the people that are out here. It is upon us as Christians to do these things. So the other thing that we should learn as Christians is that we should, we should learn to forgive others. We should learn to forgive our brothers when they, when they, wrong, when they are in the wrong. We should learn to understand people. We should learn to understand not to judge others, not, not, to, not, not to be people that are very harsh. We should learn to be people that are hospitable, people that can be approachable, people that have love in our hearts. And then the other thing is that we should seek to run after Christ because this is our main assignment in this in this, in Christianity, to run after Christ. Seek him with all our hearts to run after him and when we all are running to him, all these things, we will find that these things work together hand in hand. Because when we are all running after Christ, we are all seeking to please Christ. Not seeking to please people that are in the church. Not seeking to please a brother or another sister. We are seeking to please God first. When we seek to do this, we will find that all these other things, this is in Guinea, unity, love, and all these things, forgiveness, they will come in easy. Because first, we are seeking Christ. We are seeking to please Christ. So these other things will come in easy. And then, the last thing that we will be looking at is that we belong to a community. We belong to a community. This is, these are places that we live. Uko home kwenye una live, places that we live, places that we work. We belong to a community. And in the book of Romans, chapter 12, from verse 1 to 3, it tells us, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. So we are in this world. This verse tells us that we are people that live in this world. We are people that at least avoid living in this world. It is something that we cannot avoid because we are here. And because we are here and this world has ekonomamboyake mambo mingi, we will stay here, but there is some way that we will live. We will seek to live different lives. We will seek to be different because we are in the world, in the world, but we are not of the world. So we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Be different. We should seek to be different. We should seek to be an example, to be an example, an example to the people that are around us, an example to the people that are surrounding us in our communities. We should seek to be an example. A good example that people can eager. And then there is this other thing that we should seek to be people that do not complain. Usiku na complain. Ukikachi ni unapata watu, umepata watu wamekatu chini wana complain about the government, wana complain about this and the other things. Because we are different, we are people that should also be very different in our talking, in our talking speaking to other people. It's something that is, we should seek to be very different because we represent Christ. And because we are Christian, we represent, we, pre, we represent Christ. So whatever Christ will not do, kama mungu is kachini, anza kuteta about the government, anza kuteta about this other thing, oh, walifanya hivi, oh, walifanya hivi, walifanya hivi, walitukosea hivi. Seek to be different. Wherever you go, seek to be someone that can be eager. An example, ndomtu ukitoka, nasema by the way, 
kuna kitu yenye nakwanga there's just something about this person that i cannot understand what is that thing it is christ what is that thing it is christ the christ that is in you the light that is is in you should be seen wherever you go so where, wherever you go you seek to be a, an example and then the other thing is to seek to bring souls to christ wherever you are preach god wherever you are you try and preach the message of christ in a way or the other you find a way that you will speak to people and try to bring them try to win them over to christ in every way you can so it is something that we are given it is an assignment to us that we are given in the book of matthew chapter 28 from verse 19 to 20 it is something that we should seek it say it says that go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the father and the son and the and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all these things that i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even to the end of the age so it is something that we should seek to do on a daily basis wherever you go because this is the assignment that is given to us this is an assignment that is handed over to us perfectly tunaambiwa this is something that you should do i died for you this is the only thing i want you to do for me go out and preach the message of christ go out to your brothers to your sisters go out in your workplace go out wherever you will be try and preach the message of christ try and win a soul to christ ongelesha mtumwambie god loves you in a way or the other and we can do this not only by preaching the word of god but by the way that we live your life can be a sermon in itself your life can be something that speaks out and reaches out to others because in the way that you live you should try to be an example in the way that you carry yourself in the way that you walk in the way that you talk with others you should be an example secular time you are the one that is complaining you are the one that is doing this you are the one that is always in the wrong ko ofisi wewe ndo ujamaliza kazi ko ofisi wewe ndo uko na makosa and then you say that you are born again it is something that is very wrong so in this new year try and be an example wherever you will go try and be an example of christ try and be a, an example of what god has done in your life because by the way that we live we should seek to please god by the way that we live we should seek to bring people watu wakuulize by the way kwa nini uko hivi nini kwa nini nini unajua yenye mimi sijui because you have the love of god in you and it is the one that is causing you to bring these people to christ so it is something that is very important so as we wind up we look at how to belong we have talked about belonging to christ belonging to god belonging to our family of believers and then belonging to our community so how do we belong to these things the first thing which is very important is to give your life to christ when you give your life to Christ you belong to God you belong to this family of believers and then the other thing is to embrace the family embrace the family of Christ embrace the community that you live in embrace them accept them as they are people are different as we had said embrace them accept them as they are and then try to change them and to bring them to Christ in a way or the other and then the other thing is to learn to serve in this family of Christ you learn to serve serve others be a person that is always ready to serve serve god live for him you will serve god tuko na ministry mingi sana kwa hii kanisa kama usav let this be your year kabla tumalize praying and fasting let this be your year let this be your year as we pray as we continue with our prayers and fasting ask god where would you want me to serve unaweza taka ni serve wapi what would you want me to do that and then when you have that come kuja ongea na pastor mwambie i would want to serve in this department or this other department na watakukubali just as you are and then the other thing is to learn to help out when you are serving you are helping out and then be available be committed you are available and then you are committed and then you are showing interest in the place that you are serving and then the other thing is to build genuine relationships be authentic be real in your relationships be someone that is always ready to help a brother out be someone that is genuine in your relationships with others and then the other thing is to support and encourage others to support a brother to support your sister to support people in various ways it is something that is also some something that we should do so that we belong and then the other thing the last thing is to put on love put on love every day not only on sunday not only ukijua leo naenda naenda cell 
ama leo naenda kupatana na my fellow brothers in Christ no it is something that we should do on a daily basis to put on love and work on it to make it something that works for us thank you let let us pray everlasting father king of kings and lord of lords and to thank you because of speaking to us and i pray that whatever it is that you've taught us today one or two things whatever it is that you've spoken to us i pray that you will cause our hearts to hearken to that that you will cause our hearts to do that which you want us to do that you will cause our hearts to love you my father that you will cause us to be people that belong to you first oh god that people people that belong to our family of believers people that seek the good out of everything that we do seek good for our love, loved ones seek good seek good things for the people that we serve with seek good things for everyone that we we encounter in our lives so i pray that you will cause us to honor you with our lives that you will cause us to honor you with our desires that you will cause us to honor you with our thoughts and everything that is in us my father teach us to belong in these things father teach us that which you want us to learn and continue to walk with us we thank you and we glorify you for this opportunity to share your word my father we thank you for the reason and like unto you in jesus name i do pray and believe amen yes thank you so much karibu sana thank you pastor caleb for allowing god to use you in that way um shall we just say a word for pastor caleb in his life um yeah just take a minute thank god for pastor caleb pray for his life pray for his family jesus i thank you so much for allowing pastor caleb to minister to us oh god thank you jehovah father for using him to speak to us my god for speaking through him my god in everything that he does king jesus i pray my god that you bless him i pray that you lead his steps my god in everything that he does my king i pray that you will guide him i pray that you will bless him and i pray my god that your word will continually be a lamp unto his feet and a light unto his path in jesus name amen yes So um it's yet another another time that we would like to give. So you can give through the Mpesa Pay bill 864231. The account is the purpose of your gift. Is it, it is it tithe? Is it offering? Is it uh seed? Yes, that's the account. So the Mpesa Pay bill is 864231. Account is the purpose of your gift. So as you give I'll just bring to us a couple of announcements this coming Sunday our services resume so at the DCKZ main campus is where we are right now the first service begins at 7:30 a.m. goes all the way to 9 a.m. the second service starts at 10 a.m. goes all the way to 12 noon so that's at the DCKZ main campus at the Shiloh worship center the youth service begins at 8 a.m. and goes all the way to 10 a.m. and then the second service begins at 10:30 and goes all the way to 12:30 p.m. So our order of services resumes starting this coming Sunday the 7th of January 2024. And then prayer and fasting is here with us finally yet another year yet another time of prayer and fasting. We begin on Monday the 8th of January. So find an accountability partner usi usi tembe peke yako so just find someone that you can fast with and as we've had before there are different ways you can fast you can do fruits you can do liquids you can do 6 to 6 so find you can skip a meal so find a program kind of that works for you so don't walk alone find an accountability partner we start on monday at 8 monday the 8th sorry and we have corporate prayers also every evening from 6 pm yes uh that's all for now and thank you so much for staying tuned for tuning into the DCIKZ and if you're new here we are the Deliverance Church International Kasarani Zimmerman we are the church of choice truly so if you're looking for a church make this your church yes so yeah i think that's all So we've come to the end of our service today. Thank you so much for tuning in, for commenting, for liking, for sharing. We are so glad that you could join us. So shall we pray for the giving as we conclude our service? Thank you Jesus that you've provided for us and for our families that we've been able to give back to you through our offerings. For those who did not have anything to give today, I pray my God that you'll provide for us that we'll have something to bring to your house next time. And even as we go about our duties as we go about the week, oh God, I pray that you'll lead us, that you'll guide us, that you'll um show us the ways in which to walk in i pray this believing and trusting in jesus name amen we we'll share in the words of grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with you and your family now and forevermore amen